This is a standard Game Boy Color game pack for Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, and this is the Game Boy Color game pack for Pokemon Pinball with the built-in rumble feature. Look at the size difference between these two. This is giant, and it's one of the only game cartridges or game packs that requires an additional battery in the actual game to make it vibrate and rumble. We'll insert this thing into my Game Boy Advance SP, where it will be roughly the same size as the actual Game Boy itself. Turn it on, and it's Game Boy time. Can you feel the extra vibrations? Every time it hits a bumper, it vibrates. There's, there's really no way to film this. So you'll just have to take my word for it. It's vibrating. Cue the ear-splitting music, it's Pokemon Pinball. And yes, you can turn the rumble function off if you don't want your Game Boy vibrating. But that would be like buying a flamethrower and not wanting it to make fire. You buy this thing so it rumbles. There's two pinball tables to choose from, and while it's not a terrific pinball game, it is interesting. And it seems immediately clever that the pinball itself is one of the Pokeballs, or Pokemon Balls, or whatever, whatever you call those things. The thing where you capture Pokemon, right? Personally, when I capture Pokemon, I use chloroform and a shotgun, but most people use one of these Pokemon ball things, like the one featured in this game. So what you do is hit certain things, and eventually you start capturing Pokemon, and you can make them evolve. The screen pretty much tells you what to shoot for, and it's not a terribly easy game. Primarily because it doesn't play even remotely like a real pinball machine. It's a neat concept, but there's no feeling at all when you're playing the game, even with the rumble feature. Because you have no analog controls on the Game Boy, so when you push the button to activate the flipper, it's all or nothing. If you're used to playing a real pinball machine, or, or even pinball like Zen Pinball on the PlayStation or Xbox, you'll have a tough time with this game because it's extremely difficult to aim your shots. Where the ball goes is pretty much random. Now what I'm trying to do here is actually capture the Pokemon, so I've got to get the ball up into the bumpers, which, which would be the easiest shot possible on a normal pinball machine, but here it, it just doesn't... you just can't aim. So it's a neat concept, and it looks nice on the Game Boy Color, and the rumble feature is, is actually kind of cool, even, even if it's gimmicky. But I just cannot recommend this game to real fans of pinball. Because as, as interesting as it is, it's, it's just not that playable. Although it is very clever. If they took all of the same features in this game and applied them to a real pinball machine, or at least one of the new video game ones like Zen Pinball, it would be pretty cool. Especially for fans of Pokemon, because they got the whole collecting aspect down. As you collect these Pokemon and add them to the Pokedex in the game. I was able to make one of them evolve on a different game I was playing I did not record, and that got me big points. You get two tables with the game, the red one, which is what we're watching here, obviously, and let's take a look at the blue one. The red table is the more normal of the two. This one obviously has some other things going on. While this isn't a great game for pinball fans, it is a pretty cool game for Pokemon fans, and would make a nice gift. If you have a friend who's down with the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance SP, which is what we've been watching during this review, who also likes Pokemon stuff. It's one of the few Game Boy games with the Rumble feature, and it's not terribly expensive or difficult to find either. It's Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color.